On the basis of the totality of the evidence, the chamber finds that the accused shared the expanded common purpose of killing the Bosnian Muslim males of Srebrenica and that he significantly contributed to it. The chamber finds that the accused knew or had reason to know that crimes had been committed by his subordinates in the aftermath of the fall of the Srebrenica enclave, and that he failed in his duty as Supreme Commander to take necessary and reasonable measures to punish the commission of genocide, murder, extermination, and killings as an underlying act of persecution. During the time when we learned what happened to our people in Srebrenica, one could feel that pain and grief easily if just carefully you would observe. We were all immersed in death, almost saturated uh, by death, and then the anger and feeling of huge betrayal, realizing that the whole white world will allow that to happen, that people would just watch it and turn their head in the uh, other direction. Sometimes I'm trying to picture these strange people called peacekeepers in blue helmets, just standing by, just watching and they're again following orders, doing nothing because that neutral observer was ordered somewhere in those fancy cities in the West. And they're, of course, they just keep peace and they don't make peace because that's not in their job description. They kept saying that I wonder what's going on with them now and their, what's going on through their minds sometimes. So it was time when you lose faith and time when their concept that their world is, is right just crumbled. I don't remember that we talked much about that during that time. There was time for, definitely not for a reflection. We were busy and we had to make sure that blue helmets wouldn't have to rescue us over, over there in Sarajevo like they did in Srebrenica. And um, we grew very cynical and bitter and depressed. As the days and months went by. <laughs> 